action. Hi, and welcome to um, this video with Kuhn Polk and me, Joseph. Hi. And um, Kuhn Polk, can you introduce yourself? Hi. Uh, I am Polk. P O K. It should be better if you could call me only Polk or Polk. Yep. It's very short for you. Okay. And um, so, so I wanted to make a video about accessibility, mm. and so, um, so I have a whole bunch of, of questions. Mm. Um, what is? Um, t um, tell me about going from the MRT up to. Uh, oh, we're in Central Plaza Mall right now. Um, Central Plaza Param Nine. Yeah, Param Nine. And um, can you tell me about going from the MRT up to um, up to the food court in Central Plaza Mall? Okay. Um, firstly, the MRT station of Param Nai uh, is connected with the, with the plaza. Then um, it's very, very um, convenient for you to, to take to the sick floor where the food republic or your food court are uh, located. Um, once you read your um, Param Nai station and then you can go through the, um, the, the connect, connecting way to the plaza and Take the, the elevator to the sixth floor. Um, turn right and turn left uh, a little bit. Um, I, I I could say that you don't you don't get a lot, <laughs> and then you can um, spot the food public where the food on the okay. Okay, and I, and I think there there are two elevators, right? Yeah. Um, which one Which one is the best? The ones on uh, the one on that side or the one on this side? Um. And I, and that side is south, uh, and this side is north. <laughs> Uh, for me, I, I I don't care about 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 the side. I just I just spot that where the Robinson um, brocade, and then I take the Robinson and better, uh, which would be better for you because um, a red people or very, very you can catch up the the elevator very fast uh, and to the sixth floor. Yeah. So so why why are the Robinson elevators better? More cute girls or no no no. Um, oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> maybe sometimes there, there are lots of cute girls, not, not, not more. Uh, because no, many people mainly use the, the, the cell, cent, central elevator, but they don't know uh, the elevator in the Robinson Plaza is, is uh, very so, better. Um, so, so, so not as many people in the Robinson elevator? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. And then, um, oh, actually, can you um, can you tell me about going from the MRT train to um, to the entrance of um, of Central Plaza? Uh, because I've I, I've seen the I've seen the elevators, but I but I, and I don't know how many elevators you have to take from the train to. Um, okay. I I think it's two, right? Or or is there the the, the station where where the train. Stop. Um, it's um, located in the basement too. Okay. And if you want to take the the pathway um, connect to the plaza, you have to take an elevator up to the basement one. And then you can see a lot of shop around there. And it had a pathway um, along the way, and you can see um, the gate to the plaza. And then. You get inside the plaza already. Okay. So, so, um, so from the train to to Central Plaza, just one elevator? Only one. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, do you need a special pass? Because um, for me? Yeah. Uh, or, or, no, no. I mean, like, like for for me, if I wanted to take the elevator, I'd have to take two, right? Because I'd have to first go up. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. If for you, I think that um. It would be um, better and better if you could take uh, <laughs> an uh, escalator and it will go through the basement one and you just turn right, uh -huh. not, not turn left because if you turn left, you will go to the D tower, yeah, something like that. Okay, yeah. and, and actually, I mean, um, uh, not, um, not, not, not necessarily me, but like if my, if my sister has <laughs> a, if my sister has a stroller, uh, um, and she can't. She can't take the escalator. Uh, uh, um, uh, how many? Um, ha, um, does she have to take two elevators? Sure, you can take an elevator. Um, 
add one. And after you uh, come out from the station here, yeah, you you could you could see another 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 floor, which um, is like a intersection that you can turn left and turn right. If you turn left, it will go to another building um, which um, nearby the plaza, and you you just turn right. You just turn right, and you can see uh, the pathway along along to the the plaza. Yeah. Okay. And then um, a question a question that I've always had is um, so so I noticed when you go in the um, in the elevator, then you hold hold the handrail. Mm. And so in um, so so actually, I have two theories about that. Yeah. Um, the first one is maybe maybe the elevators in Thailand don't, aren't level, and so maybe the elevators are really sloped. Uh -huh. And so maybe maybe you're. Um, Maybe if you don't hold the handrail, then you just slide all the way, uh, slide all the way back. So, so that that was my first theory. But then, but then every, um, th then every time I get in the elevator, I always look, and I, and they're all, they're always pretty level. So, um, and then my second theory was, um, so in college, I, um, in college, um, the year before the year before I lived in the dorm, then the, an elevator broke, and. <laughs> Um, and and the story went that everyone was okay. Like yeah. like like it it. Um, I think it dropped for like five floors, yeah. and they have these big giant springs in the bottom. Um, you can't save your life. Yeah, yeah. So 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 it saved their life, but they all pissed their pants. So yeah. um, so 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 I think nobody actually wanted to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So um so so then that was my second theory is maybe maybe you were involved in a in a an, an elevator accident, and so that's why you hold on to the handrail. But uh, but anyway, um, that's my oh and and then my third well maybe maybe I should stop telling um, theories and just ask you how can you how can you always like to hold the handrail? <laughs> no, it's just like a, my first habit when I get into an elevator and it can help me to get inside a bathtub and you can take a little break uh, before you uh, go to the your required floor. Yeah. After that, you can you can prepare yourself before. Ah, uh, uh, okay. So yeah. maybe uh, so so kind of like so so in in Bangkok, um, all the buses have these rails yep. on the on the top, yep. and and at first I didn't hold them, mm. but then the um, the buses in Bangkok they are um, um, they have intense acceleration, um, and then and, and then the brakes are really good. Yep. So if you don't hold if you don't hold these rails at the top, You're gonna then fall down. yeah yeah. <laughs> Um, and so, and so now, whenever I get on a bus, I I, mm. I, I hold that. So, so it's interesting um, you describing it. I basically do the same thing on on a bus, and and then and then you can walk from the front of the bus to the back of the bus much much quicker if you hold on to these handrails at the top or like on the ceiling of the bus. Uh, is, is that kind of similar, or like like to get in fast to get out fast? Uh, we just want to you to take uh, to take off your your bus first. You could better um, go to the back, mm -hmm. and then as, as soon as you uh, take take on the bus, grab some some rail or something like that, and then don't don't put it off. Just hold it until you um, arrive your uh, next stop. Okay. Oh, and then one um, another question is where? Don't, uh, oh, first, oh, sorry. Go no, ahead. no, no, no. Uh, don't trust any bus in Thailand. <laughs> uh, don't trust no. any bus or don't trust anybody. No, no, no. Don't trust any bus because the bus can stop every time, any time. Uh, you you would not uh, know until you fall down somehow. Yeah. So scrap something. Uh, the seat or window or the handle. Yeah. Okay. And then um, another question is, what um, of of all of the of all the businesses or places in in Bangkok, which um, which which is the most um, accessibility friendly place, like 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 for wheelchairs or um, which um, which which business. Which business and which place do you think is the mo is the best best place for navigating if you um, mm. um, mini museum, uh, modern museum, and 
many plaza and also many parks in Thailand. And then, could you um, could you mention could you mention a couple by name? Uh, like the, um, the um, because I went to the I went to the Bangkok Seashell Museum. And that was that wasn't very good because they have well it's not even uh, very good for me because yeah. they have these tiny stairs in the back uh -huh. and I guess if you only want to see um, a third of the seashells then um, but oh, uh, but anyway what um, which what's a what's a museum that you can think of that's um, that's good um, I think um, the art gallery um, nearby the MBK. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you know the name of it? Because I, I think I've been there, but I don't remember the name of it either. I'm not sure of the exact name, but it's uh, about uh, the center of art, something like that. And it has a skywalk. It has a uh, accessibility that you can get get inside very conveniently. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what's the best park for accessibility? The best park by open door uh, Lumpini Park okay yeah and then what's the best university for accessibility surely Mahidon University Ma <laughs> Mahi Aray Mahidon <laughs> Mahidon University uh, okay yeah. and then what's the oh, what's the best um, which, which is better um, MRT or BTS for me MRT okay and then what's what's the best MRT station uh, Silong, MRT station. Okay, and then who? Which MRT station has the friendliest um, people? Um, also Silong and Palamna because I, 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 I would receive many warm welcome every morning and every evening from the staff there. <laughs> uh. Yeah. And then, what's um, which is the best BTS station? Um, Saladang. 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 Yeah. Where's and, and I? Oh, um, Saladang's by Silom, right? Yeah. Okay. The same way. And oh, what what makes it the best? Uh, Saladang station, right? Um, the security security guard is very friendly, and many of them know me and um, keep me out. Very very good. So um, from from uh, from the platform until I get inside the train, yeah, uh, I always receive a good feeling every every day. Cool. And then um, what? Um, any other anything else you'd like to add to the video? From this one. Uh, uh, I love, I love this city, Bangkok, and uh, you know that I, I'm in the wheelchair, right? Uh, many of, of you might uh, figure out how can I live here. Um, you know that Thai, Thailand or uh, big city like Bangkok, um, they, they don't cover many accessibility for uh, disabled people. Uh, for all of them, but um, I could say that if you cannot uh, change anything, uh, you have to adapt yourself to be um, to be better um, living here and spend your life um, as much as happy you can, yeah. like me. Okay, yeah. and um, that's uh, that's. That's that, um, that's really interesting because when uh, when I first moved to Bangkok, I, um, actually before I, before I moved here, um, I think the first time I came here was ten years ago, mm. and um, a lot of the a lot of the sidewalks are uneven, mm. and um, and then sometimes um, sometimes the ramp for um, sometimes it looks more like a mini skateboard ramp than a, <laughs> um, than, um, than, than, a, than a ramp that would accommodate a wheelchair. Yeah. Um, so, so sometimes, um, so, um, sometimes I, um, sometimes as I walk around the city, I think, oh my gosh, um, yeah. <laughs> how how does someone how does someone in a wheelchair even uh, even navigate? So, so what's um, what's your um, do you have any um, do you have any tips on the um, on the best things to look um, the best things to look for or the best resources or um, like like if 
if if one of your um, if if you had a friend um, that said, "Hey, I'm in a wheelchair. Um, I'm coming to Bangkok. What mm. what advice do you have? What um, what would you what would you tell them?" Uh, the first thing that you have to um, study or have more information as much as you can um, for where you want to go, and then you you if you have a, a chance to take a look on the internet or uh, in the real life, you you need to to browse and survey um, where you can go, and then you have to have the second plan. Um, I often have a second plan or the second way that I, if I could not um, go at first time, I will change the direction. If it might take a longer, uh, longer distance, but you could go to the the destination that, that you want. Yeah. First, you take a look where you want to go. Second, you have to have a second plan. And the third, uh, what you write to uh, where you take a look. If if it uh, if it's not as as you expect, um, and nobody nobody can help you. You you just stay there uh, and take uh, take a look around yourself. Um, where the nearest head that you can go, which um, smooth and better way that you can go by yourself. Okay, um, cool. Well, I um, I actually just thought of like five more questions, but maybe maybe we should do this and uh, maybe we should answer my uh, additional five questions in okay. in in the next video. Thanks, uh, thanks very much. It's been a great interview. Okay. And um, any any final parting um, words? Uh, I am single. Bye. <laughs>